Paul went to the temple in Jerusalem. A group of Jews thought Paul had taken people who were not Jews into the temple. This made the Jewish people angry. They took Paul out of the temple and beat him. Roman soldiers arrested Paul. They let him speak to the Jewish people. Paul testified to the people that he had seen a light from heaven and heard the Savior's voice. He said that Jesus had told him to preach the gospel. The people did not believe Paul. They wanted to kill him. The soldiers put Paul in prison for the night. The Savior visited Paul in prison and told him not to be afraid. He said Paul would go to Rome and teach the gospel there. To protect Paul, the Romans sent him to another city. King Agrippa was there. Paul told King Agrippa that he had been a Pharisee and had hated the people who believed in Jesus. He had even put them into prison. Then Paul had seen a light from heaven and heard the Savior's voice. Now he believed in Jesus. Paul testified to King Agrippa that the gospel was true. He said that Jesus had been resurrected. In a vision, Jesus Christ had told Paul to teach his gospel. Because Paul had obeyed, many people hated Paul. King Agrippa said that Paul almost made him believe in Jesus. The king did not think Paul should be killed. But he had to send Paul to Rome, where Paul would be placed on trial. Paul was in prison in Rome for two years. Many people came to see him. He taught them the gospel. Paul wrote letters to the saints in other lands. Some of these letters, called epistles, are in the New Testament. Paul knew he would be killed. He was not afraid. He had obeyed God's commandments. He had taught the gospel. He had finished his mission. Paul knew that Heavenly Father loved him. He also knew that after he died, he would live with Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ.